Hello and welcome to another bike and another restoration or in this case it's more of a modification. We are going to be changing quite a few items on this bike and we haven't had this brand on this channel so I just had to share it with you. What is it? Well this is a very beautiful Italian basso. Before we get onto our bike though, as I generally always say, I know if you're into your vintage retro road bikes and you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe because it's completely free of charge and helps out a lot. So Basso, fairly new to the bicycle world, formed in 1977 by a gentleman called Alcid Basso, who was the youngest brother. His eldest brother was called Mourinho Basso, a professional Italian road cyclist, and probably one of the best sprinters of his generation. He also then went on to win the World Championships in 1972. So yeah, Alcid was influenced probably by his older brother. He started producing bicycles in his garage it's only the age of 19 in 1974 he was more mechanically minded and uh, yes he then went on to work for the race teams and also worked for Bianchi so yes a lot of influence around him and you can see that influence coming out in these frames uh, today this, as I say, is a Basso, it's an Ascot. This is a top of the range frame and was sold as a frame only uh, around 1990, 91. Very beautiful, it's got uh, Columbus multi-shaped tubing, which reminds me very much of the Colinago Master Pews with the tubing itself. It looks round, but when you get up close, it's really interesting. Very much like this frame, the closer you get, there's so much detailing on these bikes themselves, very interesting indeed. It's got triangular forks at the back here and the uh, frame itself, the tube here, is actually rounded at the top and it goes down into a V. But you can always tell a very good frame by this rear stay here and how it actually goes up to the seat post clamp. Uh, it's all actually incorporated and uh, yes, very intricate indeed. It's got inline, ca inline cabling very nice and loving the actual detailing of how this actually goes into the frame itself. The bike, it's got a Campagnolo group set. We are going to be keeping with Campagnolo because it's the rule, but we are going to, I've got a different group set available to me. So I'm going to change that. I'm also going to change this seat because that's not very much in keeping with the time frame of this bike. Probably a roll saddle would probably be more in keeping. And we're going to be changing this seat post. It's a 25 millimeter, so quite hard to get hold of. But this is a very cheap one, so we're going to change that for a better seat post. Um, and we're also going to change the wheels. Uh, we're going to get some gun wall tyres, I think. And we're just going to lift the bike itself and change some handlebar tape. One thing that is fantastic about this bike, it is in my size. So I'm going to be taking this bike out for a very good ride. So hang around for that. But before we do that, we generally strip these bikes down. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on. Okay, brilliant. Well, there is the bike all stripped down. I've just left it like this because I wanted to show you this bottom bracket shell. It's absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Really flat on one side and it's actually been embossed and it's got the guides already on the frame. So yeah, as I say, the detailing on this bike is absolutely fantastic. And I've also left the bottom bracket in. It's got a sealed bottom bracket. It has been serviced recently, really recently. I know where this bike's come from. So I've left that in place. Um, but yeah, let's get a move on with this. We've got all the parts in a bucket down here, as you generally do. As you take things off, put them all in a bucket, you're not gonna lose or misplace anything. So. Without well, further ado, let's uh, get a move on, start cleaning this frame up and sourcing a few of these new parts.
music to my ears. Not only do these rims sound great, but they look fantastic. These are Mavic GP4s back from the day, and we've got some lovely gum wall tubular tyres on here. If you are interested in how to glue on tubular tyres, we do have a dedicated video available to watch, which is tossed up there. So the wheels are all ready to go. We've also done the frame now, which is all ready. We started off with T-cut solutions, we generally do, used in the car industry, just to get rid of any scratches or blemishes. We then use a crust solution. However, there was no rust at all on this frame, so we went straight into using some touch-up paint just to get rid of any small chips. I couldn't help myself but to celebrate the Columbus multi-shape tubing by adding a couple of stickers on the forks there to celebrate. So yes, that's all ready to go. What else have we done? Well, I've changed the handlebars. We've actually gone with um, some Criterium handlebars, some Snelly handlebars, a bit more of a bend in them here. I used to use these in the day and they're just a bit more in keeping with the time period of this frame itself. So love these, nice long stem on there. What else have we got? Well, to go on the handlebars, we are going to be keeping the levers which incorporates the gear lever in here with Campagnolo but what we've done I've actually bought some nice white hoods to go on these which would lift the actual white in the basso I feel. The other thing that we've done if you remember the seat post was a 25mm seat post it did have one in however it was quite cheap indeed so this was the original seat post that was in there and we needed to change it because the value of the bike um, we've gone with a nice fluted seat post here, so it's 25mm, however it does need a little bit of polishing. So I'm going to be getting on with that and also wrapping these handlebars. So what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on with that. Well, we are finally here, ready to rebuild the bike, and if you watch these videos, you'll know that this is my favorite part of the project. We've got all the group sets on the side there, as we generally do. It's the Campagnolo Chorus. I just feel as though this group set is more in time with the bike itself. Looks absolutely amazing, and we've got some lovely white toe straps to go with these pedals, which will match the handlebar tape, and also, wait for it, we've got a brand new Rolls saddle. So yes, that will look absolutely amazing. And I say really lift the bike, just putting that bit of white into it. So yes, cannot wait to get going. It shouldn't be too hard because we've already put the headset in. And if you remember, we've left the bottom bracket in. So we're already ahead of ourselves with that. But what are we waiting for? I can't wait. Let's get this bike built back together. result and what a beautiful Italian race bike this is with Columbus multi-shape tubing and full Campagnolo all the way through. I did have a slight problem with the rear mech that we tried putting on, it was an older rear mech and it didn't take too well with the Evo levers. So we put the original Campagnolo rear mech on, it works absolutely fine and yes, love the white bar tape with the white saddle, really does set it off. There is one thing that we do to finish these builds off uh, well, that's a ride that is coming. I'm going to give it a good ride, that's for sure. But we finish these builds off with a water bottle. I do have one down here. It's a very special one indeed. And to celebrate the Campagnolo and the Italian theme, we've actually got a Campagnolo water bottle. So yes, let's pop it in, have a look. 
fantastic. Well, the sun is out, so let's get our guns out and give this bike a good ride. Well, this has been the Basso Ascot with Columbus multi-shape tubing and full Campagnolo running all the way through. It really is a true Italian race bike. I could sit on this bike all day long. Unfortunately though, this one is going to a guy called Brian. It's in collaboration with Seri Cyclone, which do fantastic work with youth engagement through cycle repair and also sell accessories and parts. So why not give them a visit? There's a website in the description below or give us a visit at bikeituk.club. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.